Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. My little Christmas tree is all trimmed and I cannot wait to tell you about each and every one of the components. 99% of the decorations on my tree are upcycled and handmade, which makes me so happy. Like I said, I'm going to get to each of the individual decorations, but today's video is all about this handmade garland and tree skirt that I made from fabric scraps. Let's talk about the garland first. It is made from strips of burlap with the edges bound in binding. Here's how I did it. First, I cut five strips of burlap three inches wide by the width of the fabric. Then I sewed them together end to end to make one long strip. I put the long raw edges through my serger just to tidy them up and prepare them for the binding. I prepared the binding in a similar fashion, cutting one and a half inch strips by as many lengths of the fabric that I had. Since I was using scraps and you need a ton of binding to cover both edges of the burlap, I ended up having to mix two fabrics together. Both fabrics coordinate with the rest of the tree, so you can't really tell once you get the garland wrapped around the tree. Once the binding is prepared, I used my bias binding foot for my machine and zipped everything through in one step. Applying a binding with this foot is a breeze and makes such quick work of what will normally be so tedious. I will have a video tutorial that explains each step of preparing, making, and attaching bias binding to any raw edge coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But if you didn't want to go through all this trouble, I have an alternative plan. Serge the long raw edges uh, with a coordinating thread, cream or white would work, or a contrast thread that still matches your tree theme. Like for me, I would have used navy. Then sew on color coordinated ribbon or a pretty lace trim down the center of the strip of burlap. Your garland will still be stunning and totally handmade. I didn't have enough of either of those trims on hand, but I did have a ton of these cotton fabrics, which is why I chose the road less traveled. Okay, now for the tree skirt. I had some of this sparkle Sherpa that I got from Joanne, as well as some of this golden ponty knit that I think came from Mood. I cut them both into circles with the Sherpa being two inches wider in diameter. Then I zigzagged around the raw edge of the ponty to attach them together. I thought about quilting them, but ultimately my machine didn't love the Sherpa, so I took the easy road here. See, life is all about balance, right? Since my tree is so small, I just cut an X in the center of the circle and slipped my tree trunk through the hole before snapping on the stand. If you have a larger tree, cut a small circle the same diameter as your tree trunk and then cut a slit from the outer edge of the skirt to that center hole. You can sew some ribbon to both sides of that slit to tie the skirt back together once it's under the tree. And there you have it, the beginnings of a handmade tree trimming. I just love how the lights on the tree sort of glow through the weave of the burlap. And that subtle sparkle in the Sherpa is so pretty when the light hits it. I'm going to go ahead and throw on some purchased garland, goldberry twigs, and faux leaves to finish out the base layer of my tree decor. I only bought two branches of the twigs. I just cut the individual twigs away from the main branch and I can spread them throughout the tree this way and the scale of the smaller clusters is better for my small tree anyway. The garland and twigs both came from the Dollar Tree and the faux leaves are left over from my pumpkin decor project. There's a link in the description box to watch that video if you'd like. I hope you'll go through some of your fabric scraps and see if you can repurpose any of it for your Christmas tree this year. But that's going to do it for me for now. I'll be back very soon with some more videos, including tutorials for every single ornament that I have on this tree. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when those videos are live. Uh, but thanks again so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.